Hey everybody, um, I'm Don Brown, a guitar player sitting in my studio on my own at the moment. During lockdown, like probably a lot of you are, my main gig, my main job is, is uh, lead guitar with the band Duran Duran, who I've been playing with since 2006 exclusively. Wow, well, I mean, it's considerably changed, hasn't it? Um, even even in my, you know, my, my experience. I mean, when I first started in studios, you know, when I was kind of 17 doing demos. I caught the tail end of the analog world, you know, when everything was done on um, on tape, you know, which is a lovely, lovely medium. Uh, it has a certain, certain sort of organicness, a certain romance to it. There's some, something special about that. Obviously now it's, everything's now digital. So I've, I've seen both of those um, mediums and I've worked in both mediums. There are some great advantages with digital. I mean, you cannot fault the, the editing within digital is, is you know, unsurpassed. Saying that, there are obviously still a lot of people that still do use two-inch tape, but normally in conjunction with digital. So they'll, I mean, I've done this on a, on a few albums, um, a couple of albums with, with Duran Duran, for instance. Uh, we recorded onto two-inch tape, the, the bass and the drums and the, and the guitars, and then that was then transferred to, to Pro Tools to then develop the songs more and edit for editing and stuff. But so you capture the magic of the, of the two-inch tape. And then you bring that into the digital world. That's a, but that's quite a sophisticated process, and not a lot of studios do that these days. You know. In my late twenties, so I've been I've been doing my own music through my twenties and, and getting little deals, not major success. So I was getting frustrated. You know, I wanted to sort of start earning some money and <laughs> being able to you know branch out a bit. Joined up with some agencies, and I got my first. Uh, the first lot of work, professional work I did really with big names was was mainly TV promotion with some big names like um, Elton John, uh, Lionel Richie, people like that, and um, that was ama that, that was amazing for me. You know, this was probably like early two thousand, I'd say. You know, and, and then out out of this this TV miming world, I met lots of professional musicians who were doing that, but also were playing with the artists, doing live shows, tours, some. They started to hear me playing, word gets around. And then in 2004, uh, I get a call from Duran Duran's um, tour manager saying that he'd been uh, given my my number by a friend of mine who I've worked with, another guitar player. He, he And basically, so they call me up and say, Dom, are you available to play this Friday? It was a Wednesday morning, this Friday evening with Duran Duran. And I'm like, yeah, sure. Um, are we rehearsing? Um, what's the deal? Well, unfortunately, there's, there's no time for rehearsals. Two of the guys are in Europe. So can you come down? There's a bunch of guys coming down to, uh, to a studio that evening, that Wednesday evening, to, uh, to jam. You know, so they said, can you learn a few songs and come down? Basically like an audition. So. So I, I turned up there a few hours later and I met, I met John Taylor, the bass player, and Roger Taylor, the drummer. Anyway, so um, so they got me to jam with them and play, they were putting on songs, getting me to play along with the songs and it all went really well. And at the end of that evening, they said to me, look, if you want the gig, we'd love you to do it. And I said, sure, yeah, let's do it. So they gave me a pile of CDs. Uh, they, they, they ticked off two from here, three from there, you know. I think it was about 20 songs. I went home, I stayed up all night learning the uh learning these 20 songs and then the next day it was just myself the bass player john and roger on drums jamming these songs we had a sound check the day before the show that was our rehearsal and then the first show eighteen thousand people yeah so so in terms of my studio um basically i'm i'm recording into logic or pro tools digitally but i, I use as much analog equipment as possible before before i hit the digital World. You know, I've got Universal Audio, Mike Pre's and 1176 compressors, uh, so a Neve 1073s, and, um, which for me is really important because if you record everything through those those devices, you're capturing that, that lovely analog warmth before you hit the digital world. As you can see, you know, I've got a few amps here and you can probably see a couple of two or three guitars there, maybe four. Believe it or not, there's, there's actually over 20 guitars in this room, but they're kind of dotted all around. <laughs> I've got a real piano over here, which is beautiful. It's, a, it's, a, it's an upright Yamaha U3 that sounds absolutely beautiful, mic'd up, uh, drum kit. I've uh, got some great monitors. I've got ATC, the, the classic Yamaha NS10s that everybody needs these days. Right, so I'm currently, I'm, I'm, I'm running Direct Live, which is um, an amazing new addition to my studio. That I'm running that through the um, 
the mini uh, DSP SHD processor. And that's the last thing in the chain before the speakers. Uh, the Direc Live is it's like a room correction um, software. So my room is, it, it, it's been treated, it's, it's very, very, very transparent. It's almost, apparently almost perfect. Um, but I wanted to get it absolutely as close to perfect as I could. So a friend of mine introduced me to, to Direc. And I'm absolutely loving it. it I, I've, I've got it, everything I listen to, all my referencing, everything comes through the processor. Anything I reference is, is, is I can compare it with how it should sound in the ideal transparent, you know, the most ideal transparent room available, you know. The great thing is that it's the last thing in the, in the, in the circuit. So everything that, that I'm writing, recording, I'm hearing going through the direct is on the whole time. Whenever my studio is, is, is running, the direct's running. Everything goes through it. The last, the last thing. So what's amazing is if, if you're doing a mix or you're or you're trying to get a guitar sound or something, I can flick on a song on Spotify or iTunes, YouTube, and that also goes to the direct. I'm hearing that as a reference in what was the ideal situation for those original recordings to have been listened to in. If, for instance, I was referencing a song on Spotify and um, it wasn't going through the direct but what I was working on myself was, I wouldn't be getting a true reference to compare to because that would be, because the song on Spotify that I'm referencing from would then be being influenced by the sound of my room. But by having a direct live in the system, the influence of the room is taken away. It's just purely the ideal transparent setting for the, for the song. I think working with, with the direct live has, has really helped me in my mix process because um, I can hear things more clearly now. I can hear, it's, it's small things like, like reverbs. You can just hear exactly what the reverb is doing because you're not getting a, a, a colorization from the room that's not affecting what I'm hearing. Is now much, I can get a much truer representation of what is going down through the direct live. So it's massively helped for mixing. I mean, obviously, it's been it's been pretty pretty awful not being able to tour this last year. But uh, but there is a silver lining. I've been able to record this solo album, uh, the first one I've done for probably about ten years now. Um, really managed to uh, devote solid solid time. If I'd been away on tour, obviously that wouldn't have happened. This record is it's really there are some songs that are very appropriate to where we're at in the world right now. There's a, it's quite an optimistic album. And it's quite a reflective album. It's fairly up, uplifting as well, I, 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 I think. So I'm hoping this, this record will be released sort of end of March, early April. Is so guys, I hope you've, you, you know, you can take something away from today. It's been great hanging out with you all. And um, yeah, you know, I, I can only highly recommend Direct Live, uh, which you can get at www.live.direct.com. You can follow me on, um, Instagram, uh, Don Brown Music, and Twitter, Don Brown Music, if you want to keep in touch with me. And...